a quick update on my uh, frequency fixes. Um, as you can see, this pop button has changed. I had to ream a hole a bit bigger. Sometimes a ream tool like this one is a lifesaver, but um, yeah, it needed a couple more millimeters in diameter for that one. But it's a completely plastic knob, it doesn't have the capacitance problem. I still got a bit of a shift, but I think that is down to the residual resistance of the potentiometer when it's in its minimum position. But I can show you now we're running at about, uh, I've just switched it on so it's still drifting a bit, 205 hertz, and if I hit the spot button, we go down to 800. So we're, we're losing 300 hertz, which if you can remember from the previous video, um, that's much better. It was going down about a kilohertz. So I think that that remaining problem is just to do with the resistance of the pot and I'm going to think about a better way to wire in the spot for that but uh, yeah there's no residual capacitance there now the capacitance doesn't change when I check hit the spot because there's nothing to connect it to so that's great um, that's one problem solved um, I also found a couple of interesting issues inside the radio today um, if you look in here, I found that the Veracta had the wrong resistance value. I was using a brown, black, yellow instead of a brown, black, black, yellow. Um, I guess because I have some resistors that are three chord and some that are four, and I had confused the two. And when I realized that, I checked somewhere else and I had the same problem uh, over here somewhere with another resistor that was the wrong value. So I don't know how I made that mistake, but um, I've tweaked those things. Um, I think maybe the oscillator is more stable than it was. I'm not so sure. Um, this little pad here is a surface mount 2.7 picofarad NPO cap because I wasn't certain that the cap that I had in there was NPO so I thought I'd change that out too. It's not the best solution but it works. Um, yeah, so I'm down to fixing the transmission now. Um, we'll see how that goes. I thought since I've this is just a quick video, let's run the beacon and see if we can find any spots on the reverse beacon network. it off and there we go 